Dun, meta, meta. I'm Dynamite Suzukishi, and today we're going to be playing Eight Color Star Guardians. Uh, the Eight Color is part of the game name. Also, as you can see, the Eight Color palette that the game is restricted to, which looks very, very nice. Um, the Star Guardians part is because this game is a turn-based RPG that is a parody of the Super Sentai genre, the, the Power Ranger genre of TV shows. All six of Our Lady Star Guardians. Um, are representatives of the queer community. And if you play through the story mode, you do get to see a lot of that uh, representation come through in the writing. The writing's very funny and lighthearted. It's, it's fantastic. I really do like uh, the story here. Um, you do get quite a bit of lore, especially if you jump into Discord and ask about, um, you know, ask the developer different questions. You do get a little bit more of the lore through the Discord as well. Uh, but, of course, it's a speedrun, so you're going to be losing quite a bit of that content. Text, unfortunately i just encourage you to give the game a try it is very very affordable on steam without further ado three two one let's go and we're gonna be greeted there we go one fight down and the timer didn't start I, you saw me pass it I, why 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 did the timer not start i don't want i used to, i mm, i tested it before i try to start a run Please start the timer this time. Thank you. Oi, oi, oi. Actually got a pretty good first boss, too. <laughs> I got some good damage rolls. And... Timer didn't start. It's only the last thing I did before I started the run. My hotkey's working. Yep, the timer started. Three, two, one, go. Timer didn't start. Good song. And immediately got a much worse first fight. Oh, live split. How could you betray me like that? All right, we got to swap in Bree. Bree just won Bubble Shield, even though Bree wasn't in the first fight. We unlocked Bubble Shield by defeating the Shark. I'm going to go fight Kachiko. Let's get some damage on the first turn so everybody's at full health. Uh, what Bubble Shield will do is reduce any incoming fire and I believe water damage. But reduce incoming fire damage. What it also does is heal. Not a whole lot, all things considered, but it'll keep me upright in this fight. Kachiko's a Cyclops, it's going to shoot a big old eye beam laser out of its eye beam hole and uh, deal AoE damage. Oh, I guess it slashes sometimes too, but usually it just spams its AoE abilities. It'll start to use the laser more than once per turn as the fight goes on, and eventually the, the damage will just overwhelm me. See? Twice. And Bree's out of mana except to heal. So we'll take our last heal to fight, and now I can just hold this turbo A button and mash A the rest of the fight. Let's see if we out damage our opponent. I think we'll be okay. X, we got lucky on that turn and didn't take multiple hits of damage. There we go. Same party for the next fight, and pretty much the same strategy for the next fight. We're gonna be fighting um, the Zotlas which is a garbage incinerator. So it deals a lot of fire damage, which means you actually have to heal at full health uh, because the heal also comes again with the bubble shield, which is going to reduce that incoming fire damage. As long as I keep everybody upright by remembering to heal on every single turn that Bree gets, we're going to be just fine. Um, Rhea as the Red Ranger is the Red Ranger, the, the Red Star Guardian is you know kind of our party leader as the red guardian always is man has very consistent damage um, especially with the red sun ability but red sun is just a triple punch attack it's just physical bludgeoning fist in your face damage it's not fire damage which is why it's okay to use it against a fire type boss like Zalas here um it's actually Bree who's the blue guardian who deals the fire damage in our party uh, we're gonna heal up again I should be able to just DPS the rest of the fight out. 
Yeah. Okay. We're gonna keep the same party? Oh, we're gonna keep the same party here. Okay, oh, I almost got my fights mixed up here. Yeah, we are gonna keep the same party here. Now, plans is weak to fire damage. Uh, but it also deals poison damage. We are at full health, though, so let's use Eternal Blue and... Boom! Take advantage of our type advantage. Now we're poisoned, and the heal's not gonna get rid of the poison, unfortunately, but it will keep us upright. It's not really gonna block any damage either, unfortunately, because uh, as a plant, the plan doesn't really deal fire type damage. But we're just trying to counteract the poison. Yeah. Sometimes I don't get that kind of damage roll that I just got. And that fight goes on a little bit longer. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost forgot to switch the party. Red, pink, blue. We're gonna bring Dua into the party. Dua has a lot of interesting abilities. I'm gonna go through them one by one as we get to them. Who goes first here? Bubble Shield. Yeah, we're going up against the barbecue. We need a bubble shield first. Let's see, Burning Pyre uh, deals fire damage to everybody, including BQ, including the boss. I'm gonna use inversion on the boss. Now its uh, ability to absorb fire damage means it's now weak to fire damage, so it'll stop healing itself. And if I'm so inclined, Bree could deal fire damage, deal a nice big chunk of damage. But I was a little, little worried about my health points there. I do need to get that damage out at some point, though. Boom, and now would be a good time because the boss just did a big chunk of damage to itself. wipe it out here maybe not physical damage we're good we're good we got this that was good usually it doesn't use its burning pyre attack twice in a row that quickly that was some nice rng all right so dude's got another ability called purge which is your dispel spell from final fantasy you can see that the ghost here uh starts with a status effect called uh showing as gsh it's something with the ghost status effect that makes it uh, a ghost. Um, it's a ghost with the ghost status effect, which means it's incorporeal and I can't hit it, of course. But now that we've dispelled the ghost's ghost, it is no longer a ghost. Ghosted ghost, it's just a ghost, which means I can hit it. But it does heal itself it would, like it just did. And there we go. <laughs> was a lucky damage roll because that almost went badly oh, 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 oh. all right rgp i need to swap the eerie back in for three what are we fighting double dragon <coughs> so the yellow head on the left will resurrect the blue head on the right i need to take the left head down first so we're gonna be here all day he was got an ability called Aurora, Aurora Neon, which deals some pretty nice damage, and it's AoE damage. So that's going to be really useful in this fight, because they don't have too many fights in Chapter 1 against multiple enemies. We're going to use triple damage, because Veiri has sharpened now. That's a new ability she's gotten since the start of the game. It's going to triple the damage for her one turn. I should take out the res head. Nice. And we're going to eat some big damage here, but we're good out of uh, mana for a neon, but that'll clean up the fight. In and out, that went really well. Super clean. We're actually gonna take Ray out. Um, we're gonna take the Red Ranger out of the party. Three and Juni. Blue, green, yellow. And then we're gonna slow play this fight. There's not a whole lot I can do here. Crawby's a... Uh, Sorry, crawl bow. The camera's right over where the O is. I just want to keep calling him Crawby. Crawl bow um, is a crab with a big, thick shell, and I have to wait for the uh, weak point underneath the shell to open up before I can deal any of my massive damage. Uh, so I'm going to heal just because I'm going to keep everybody topped up. What I'm waiting for... Let's see what's doing here. Where are we going to turn our laps to beam? Boom, boom, boom. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Keep doing a little bit of damage. Uh, let's top off. No more chip damage. 
Shell Shock. Okay. You're not using Shell Shock. It's charging its ultimate ability, but now its defense is really, really low. So now I only hit it as hard as I can. See, I'm doing a lot more damage now. I'm also going to use Faraday Cage. It's another ability that we've learned in the middle of the run. Uh, which is going to delay the enemy's next turn like quite a bit. Boom, that's my triple damage against the lower defense. We lightning damage on a lightning weak creature. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're really trying to hit points and I've got plenty of time to do so. Um, if I don't put it in a Faraday cage, it might get its ultimate ability off before I will do the hit points. So that just buys me enough time to make sure I win every single time. Otherwise, I still would need a pretty nice damage roll there. And now we're on to the real final fight of chapter one, at least, which is against Varian. Now I've got access to my full party at the same time. I'm just going to talk through this fight really quickly at first, because uh, you'll see we're going to have to see it more than once. And the light's going to deal AoE damage. You can see everybody's got attack minus two. It's not going to turn my damage in half. It just lowers my attack stat, uh, which is different for a couple of reasons that I can't really get into uh, during the run. Uh, but it lowers my, cuts my attack stat in half. Um, and then at some point, it's going to use Emerald Savior. And then it's got another ability. I can't remember the name of it. But Emerald Savior is basically the AoE everybody dies ability. I happen to survive it because I used it so early. But that pretty much ends the fight. And since I lost, I get a nice 20% uh, stat boost. As Viri powers us up with the power of friendship. I'm going to do this again. Friends going to open up with Emerald Wave. Everybody deals half damage. And I'm going to keep mashing A, because if we lose again, we're getting another 20% stat boost. Uh, beating this boss at your base stat level, just your, your base stats, is possible. But it's very, 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 very difficult. I've managed to do it by getting um, an extreme number of lucky boss turns in a row. Where it basically just refused to hit me with its big damaging ability. And it just kept cutting using its um, Emerald Wave to cut my attack in half. And I basically just chipped it down over like 100, 150 turns. It was ridiculous. It's slow and it's not consistent. So we're just going to take our two losses here. Take it on the chin. Get our nice big fat 40% stat boost. And now we're actually going to try to win this fight. Um, I'm about to eat the attack in half stat, so I'm not going to use Sharpen on Vairi because <laughs> it's going to get wiped out. Uh, Bree's got a turn where uh, they could deal damage, but it's going to get nerfed, so we're just going to heal and put up a bubble shield. Bubble shield's not going to help, but the, uh, the regen's going to be nice. Again, I could use Aurora Neon, but the damage is going to be really low. Um, Rhea can use Searian Crush, and she's going to use Ser Searian Crush basically every turn on this fight that she can. Searing Crush deals damage based on the enemy's defense stat, so it kind of avoids the attack might be attack over two stat. Now I can buff up Viri and I'll get triple damage on Viri's next turn if we make it that long. Um I am not gonna risk this because Baron's still got plenty of health. Let's heal up. Or Neon. Missed. My AoE damage ability missed. That's the kind of luck we're dealing with today, everybody. Uh, Fairy Cage now. Point because next turn is next. Owie, owie. Got triple damage already. Let's get the Emerald Saver out. Boom. Nice big chunk of damage. Everybody's low after Emerald Saver. Let's heal up. Burn the, uh, you can see the 40% boost. Oh my goodness, it missed twice. Give me a break. She's gonna hold on to all of her mana in case I need to res, and it's looking like I'm gonna need to res. Come on with the accuracy! Please! Um, I don't have enough for my full combo, so I'm an energy engine. Come on, it's not missing. If I fall like five or six hundred health of winning this fight, I'm gonna be so salty. Please stop. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Sharpen. That was good timing on that, actually. I will bubble shield. We're just gonna keep healing every every time he gets a turn. Uh, I've got the extra mana. 
Paradise Cage isn't gonna do me any good. I got their Shimano though. Try and get Juni some extra turns. No, I just won't hold on to it. Ow! Let's see if we put it in a static cage. Nope, that's okay. My triple damage, I got my triple damage. I'm gonna get a nice 800 point chunk there. 953, nice damage roll. Got to a heal for whatever that's gonna do for us. I need to hold on to that mana. I, oh, no, I can't purge the overclock because it's blue. Heal. Energy engine because I can't do my full combo anyway. Pick up Dua. That's okay. Because that's not a threat to me. It's going to make the fight slower, but it's not a threat to me. And that's more what I'm concerned about here is I don't want to have to game over and reset the fight on a live timer at this point. Every, since Varian's low, I'm going to eat the lower damage output and try and get some damage on the board here. I don't feel good about not healing here, though. Don't do it. Okay, okay, we should be good. We should be good. We should be good. Oh, no, it gets another... Oh, yes! No. Oh, Oh gosh. Nice damage roll there at the end. That was close. Because uh, this is about to get out its triple damage attack, and there was no. I, the turn order was bad. Like, there was no way I could dispel it. Because uh, that, that probably would have wiped the party. And now we're just waiting for the cuts to roll in chapter one, and then we'll move into chapter two. In chapter two, I'll get all my party members for every fight, which is nice. I'm so happy for me. Um, we will also pick up some new abilities as we work go through again, but uh, we'll be fighting bosses two at a time, which is going to have some interesting uh, interact, interesting interaction. Uh, it's going to require some interesting strategies. Uh, because the bosses will pair up in really annoying ways to me. Um, like our first fight's going to be against um, the shark and the Cyclops. The shark's still going to have its its um, swamp water ability, which will sap my mana pool, uh, which is bad because the Cyclops will still be doing AOE damage. Uh, so it's going to sap my mana pool and to stop me from healing through that damage. So I've got to take the shark out as quickly as I can. Or I'm going to run out of mana, which means I run out of health and I die. So boom, lightning damage on the shark. Boom, get out of here. Uh, triple damage, going to buff up in the next attack. And we're just going to attack Kachiko because there's no point putting fire damage on, uh, on the shark. Or Neon's just going to be nice to hit everybody. Here comes the slimy water. Ow, ow, ow. Slimy, slimy, slimy. AoE damage. None of that was particularly fun for me. Will this take it out? Nice! It did! Now we should probably... Yeah, we're gonna... Out. I need a heal, and my healer's out. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see if we can rub this back in. The healer should be up right out. Oh, my healer actually got a turn. Oh, that's so lucky for me. Don't double up. All right, all right, all right. We should be good. That was some favorable turn order for me there, and I probably didn't deserve. <laughs> but we should be good now. We're just going to be on healing duty for the entire fight, and that's okay. It's not as big of a deal in this fight as it is in the first chapter, because they just have more characters, of course. I think I can still control a little bit. Yes, quite a bit. Okay.
get through this turn, we're good. Or, yeah. I was already just gonna, like, triple beam and just ruin my whole day. All right, next fight's gonna be against three of the Zawas, the uh, Garbage Incinerators, which means a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fire damage coming my way. A whole lot of fire damage coming away. Pain, 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 pain. Need to put up the bubble shield or we're not going to make it out of this first round. But it was AoE damage is going to be really nice in this fight. And we're just going to be willing through health left to right as uh, as we can. The only thing I'm worried about is them, uh, is the RNG making the Zawas focus fire on somebody. I uh, like my healer. That would be really bad. <laughs> as long as that doesn't happen, we should be good. You can tell which fights I'm worried about uh, based on whether or not I'm holding mana on Junie to to res if I need to. You can see I'm just using Junie's mana to deal as much damage as possible. I'm not super worried about this fight. Especially once we get past the first couple of turns. I would like my AoE damage back on the field. Um, but it's going to be a two-turn process at this point. They have to res, and then I have to refresh your mana pool. Now let's at least pick her up, though. So yeah, carpet bomb is coming, so I'm gonna be able to spread the damage as much as I can. Sharpen. We'll heal. I'm not gonna be able to deal AoE damage this go round, but we'll get on the next go round. And it may not matter because there may only be one left. Ooh, not quite. Outer is. I healed. Do we have bubble? Everybody's got bubble? Okay, let's just swing. Ooh, that was different. I was expecting another carpet, uh, carpet bombing run. Hearing Crush might have been a better play there, but that's okay. I probably should have refreshed my mana again at some point, point but the turn got so goofy when Duo went down when she did. It was just an awkward timing. So we're just going to punch our way out from here. I could have gone a little bit cleaner. Uh, but that was like the worst point to lose, the worst party member. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a little slow at the end if that happens. Okay. Let me, let me hit the buttons I need to hit here and I'll probably what's going on. Okay, so these left two heads, again, are, have a resurrection ability and will resurrect the other heads. They have to go down first um, or I'm never going to win this fight. And they also absorb whatever element that matches their eye color. Uh, so even though I healed the left head on the first turn, I did slow its turn down. And especially later on in the fight, that's really going to be helpful by setting up turn order later. In a way, I can't really, haven't really put my finger on, but I found if I don't do it, I don't win this fight consistently. Be nice to me, RNG. You were an Emerald Saber there. I'm also using, I don't think I said it, I'm using Junie's Faraday Cage ability to slow down the left two heads as much as possible. So they get as few turns as possible. It should take up the left head, and I just gotta chew through the fire head's massive hit point pool. Again, Red Sun doesn't deal fire damage, so that's safe to do. I'm gonna hold on to my last 50 mana for a res in case something goes sideways. We're getting some good luck here, though. Fire damage on the ice head might knock it out. Close enough. Energy engines get everybody's mana refreshed. Some AoE damage. It should knock out the ice head. 
and then i've got red sun that should be a clean fight for once let's go that went way way that was way harder for me earlier in the day but using what it seems like a waste using the slow on the first turn and not dealing damage on it but it's it's doing something later in the fight i haven't really been able to quantify yet oh this is barian the boss from chapter one um instead of just you know smiting him we just drained all of his abilities and now to make ends meet he's working at the local legally distinct uh fast food restaurant because he's stuck here he can't leave the planet now so this is the white guardian it's gonna open up by using an ability called phasing which means you can't do anything neener 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 i can't do i can't deal damage um i can dispel it but it only lasts for one turn so now see the phasing is gone I need to get damage on the board. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't have Eerie Shark in the first turn. So I got this mixed up on a fight later on in a run that's kind of similar. Uh, so I kind of wasted a turn. If we lose this fight, that is exactly why. I've, I've already been pointed my goof up. But let's see if it costs me in the end. Ow, ow, ow. It wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have gotten a second turn in anyway, to be honest. We may lose this fight anyway because Eerie got knocked out. Uh, so it wouldn't have mattered if I hit the right buttons anyway. There's the phasing. I can't deal damage. Let's pick up Dua for absolutely no reason because we're definitely about to lose. We're about to just AoE. Oh, Stun Slash. You did decide not to end the fight right here. That was so kind of you. But you did knock out Junie, so now I can't slow you. So it may not matter. Please deal 800 damage. And you got to be choking. Oh, I got another turn. I got another turn. Ooh, how, how did that... I lost this fight, what, 12 times, 15 times in a row earlier? How did that mess of a fight? I don't understand that fight. That fight's all about luck. You can have a strategy, but it's all about luck. If uh, it decides to use its ultimate ability early in the fight, you just lose. If it decides to do its turn order a little bit differently, you can just lose. That fight's just all about luck. This is a story fight. You can't absolutely, absolutely cannot lose this fight. I have tried. Um, unless you use like the cheat engine to make yourself lose, and then nothing happens. You just try to fight again. <coughs> as soon as I'm out of mana, um, I'm just gonna mash a the rest of the fight. And we're gonna pick up a couple of um, abilities for some of our characters after this. It's talking about how Raya and Juni met. Uh, that's the story beat here. I've got another semi optional fight. I have to try to do the fight. I just don't have to win the fight. The trick is losing this fight quickly. I love the music here. So we're fighting against the heavyweight champion. Um the right the, the fast strategy is to hit this ref three times so that we get dq'd the problem is the ref only has 200 health so dua has to be the one to deal the damage <coughs> warning there's our warning I think I hit him three times. I think I might have said two, but I meant three. He was about to go down. There's our second strike for our DQ. I can heal Dua though. <clears throat> and I've got two people KO'd. See if we get, nope, it's another warning. Don't nope, knock him out. Oh, we got lucky on the damage roll waiting for a DQ now. See, now somebody's being pinned. So if I don't do something in three turns, I lose, but the rest about to DQ us. Boom. And we're done. That fight is winnable. It's it's not even difficult. It just does take a while. And you unlock a costume if you win. And, so, and a little bit of extra story. But like I said, it's, it's optional to win that fight. So we're just going to move on. All right, barbecue and Rosen. Right, I need to put the barbecue in the cage. So I had to, I forgot the split, so I wasn't looking at my notes. 
barbecue in a Faraday cage. Delay its turn for as long as possible. Don't no fire damage on the plants. We're just gonna sharpen here. Put up a bubble shield because we're gonna get barbecue. And again, we're gonna invert barbecue so that it can't absorb fire damage anymore. It will only take da fire damage. And now I have to be careful because basically uh, the plants are going to absorb any kind of elemental damage, I believe. That's their new gimmick. Hold on, uh, mana for reses. Wait, I might be about to move up. No, okay, we're good. For some reason I thought that was going to heal, but I was like, I can't be right. I would have definitely written that down in the notes. No, don't aura neon. That's definitely in my notes. Don't do that. That would have been bad. Oh, you couldn't you couldn't blow yourself up for me, could you, boss? Okay. Alright, alright. Can you help me out like that? I can't use electric damage because right now it absorbs everything that isn't fire damage. But now I can heal, thank goodness. Well, let's refresh, man. I need to reset the fight a little bit in. Get caught up. Ooh, um, you just sharpen. Yeah, eat a purge. Use a sharpen. Thank you. I don't wanna. Oh, oh, can't do that. Can't do anything. Just regular attacks. Regular attacks. Don't. Don't make this fight longer than it needs to be. So sharpen though. And I guess Viri's health is a little low, but I'm risking it. Get a nice big chunk of damage down. I better purge that again. Especially since you keep wasting turns. I'm gonna put it back on. Double damage? Not enough. This should do it though. Alright. Good clean fight. Long story beat there. And now I've gotta be careful not to re-enter the a fight against Chant. Alright, we need to put Gramba in a Faraday cage and delay its turn as much as possible because it is going to absolutely chew through my mana pool if I don't. We're kind of in the same boat as we were in the first fight of Chapter 2. Um, where Gramba needs to go down quickly or I'm going to have no mana and no mana means no hope. <laughs> That's basically how that goes. No mana means no hope here. Probo's doing the same thing. It's got a big thick shell. I can't do anything to it anyway. I'm just waiting for it to lower its own defense. Um, I just need to slow down the fight at the start though. Otherwise all the damage will catch up to me and I won't be able to heal in time. I'm just waiting for, yep, there's Sharpen. Let's top off. Top off for mana too. Swing. He's gonna get a nice big chunk of flesh taken out of him. That stinks. He's still got a high defense, so it's not um, open up the damage yet. There we go, Shell Shock's up. Put you in the cage. I need all the time I can to get damage down. You sharpened? No. Oh. a blue. Or neon. More eternal blue? Wow, Bree gets two turns? Wow, Bree gets two turns. Bree gets, Bree, wow, Bree gets a lot of turns here. I mean, you deserve that. Bree didn't even have a chance. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how that turn order happened, but we'll take it. Nice long chunk of text here. And then our next fight's against uh, three ghosts this time instead of just the one. 
Uh, so duo is going to be super important here because again, our ghosts start with an ability called ghost. As long as our ghosts are ghosted, they can't be hit. So Dua has to purge the ghost nests away from our ghosts so that they can be hit. these two right now we need to purge ghosts away from the ghosts or our ghosts aren't ghosts they're just regular old ghosts not ghosted ghosts and now i can deal damage though it's probably gonna get a chance to heal it's maybe not nice okay good damage rolls sharpen up Purge last ghost and take it out. Nice. This is our second fight against the White Guardian next. This is the one where I think that was the last one after, so I won't even bring it up. Oh no, it was this one where uh, I didn't boost on um, Theory because I don't want to do that here. Oh, actually, I didn't say that I do. Oh, so I just goofed up entirely last time. All right, sharpen up. Everybody starts phased. I need Theory to get all of her turns. As long as that happens, we're fine. All right, so the boss is gone, but your guardian's gone, so it's the only one that's not phased right now. Okay, complete to the head. Uh, Dua lost her turn to a stun. Four damage on Zeray. Now the four adds are all gonna get a turn, but they're all gonna lose their phasing. They also don't have stun, but Zeray does don't be I lost I lost a turn on my DPS. That's bad. Put Zeray in a cage and see if we can pull this back in. I better heal. This fight's gonna go a little bit longer than I was hoping. Nice, I got one down. Uh, I better get damage on the boss if I can. Is the boss just gonna res anyway? what I just said, uh, but it actually costs the Ray health to res. I actually do want to get some of them down if I can. I better sharpen though. And we got a really nice pair of turns there. Not quite. I don't think I had any hope of actually getting it. Oh, you face instead of resing. What made you do that? I don't know, but I think that's going to help me out here. All right, let's take it out. If I get through this set of enemy turns, I think I'm good. That's that's not good, though. Who's static? Nobody's static. All right, let's take the boss out. If the minions take me out, I'm gonna be really upset, but we should be okay. There's just one. Nope, there's three left. I got the right hand side. Uh, I better heal. I probably didn't need to, but I have no confidence in the situation right now. All right, now I can and I can pick people up. Okay, I got my mana back. I, I feel a lot better than I did. I did, 10 minutes ago, 30 seconds ago, rather. Yeah, 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 okay. Now, now we're talking. 
get out of here. AoE damage is upright again. This could win the fight. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the OST is really nice. Okay. I'm gonna. S what I'm gonna say here is uh, this is where the story branches. If you win here, you get the fast path. If you lose here, you get a lot more story. It's very, very interesting. It's about a 15 minute time loss. It's a pretty good, uh, say, donation incentive for some extra content. I don't want to do that right now. I just need to heal when I'm low, when I'm even like 50, 75% health, I need to heal. If the boss gets uh, buffs its attack damage, I need to dispel it. That's all I have to do, but I'm going to stay quiet here. I'm going to hit the wrong buttons. Um, the screen will not flash bright, but it will fade to black quite a bit here, depending on what stats effects I get hit with. And the audio will also go in and out, depending on what status effects I get hit with. So don't be too um, surprised by that. I need to purchase static. And now I'm going to stop talking for a little bit before I, I cost myself 15 minutes. I need to heal. Please let me heal. Yeah, I was being really careful with the text there. I'm not even using the turbo. Um, because I do not want to misclick here. If I misclick here, that's going to be a 15 minute time loss. I can't tell the state the boss is in, but that usually means it's not boosted. All right, I can purge this. All right, good. Got a heal there. Match up. All right, ah, uh, this is good. Just pay attention, just pay attention. Gas that ball. I can't dispel that. I can deal damage, but I'm gonna refresh instead. Need a purge. Deal damage. Got a purge. The heal. Purge. Uh, I'm gonna refresh here. Purge. Heal again. I'd love to be able to deal some damage. and hope that you're not super mean to me. Purge. Heal. We got one purge. Okay, good. I can purge again if I need to now. And I do need to. Please be enough. Whoo, all right. Let's get out of this fight. The fight's not hard. The problem is you're trying to mash through all the story text and then you you burn one turn doing the wrong thing and then you're toast. That's what's frustrating about the fight.
Because if you waste a turn, you're probably dead and you're losing 15 minutes or resetting your run. All right, we've got one more, um, not final boss fight here. I lost my train of thought in the middle of that sentence. Uh, what Pyram's going to do, uh, you can see Pyram's got 1,500 mana right now, 1,500 SP. Um, when it's, it's, it's going to spend all of its SP at one time, dealing a ton of damage based on how much SP it's got. And what it will do um, after it uses its initial attack is um, absorb SP uh, by absorbing the flames that are around it. I'm, I'm really trying to pay attention here. So I need to take out the flames, but there's nothing I do about the first one. It's going to get that attack off no matter what I do. And I see it's out of SP, so it's going to start absorbing the, the flames. So now I need to take the flames out. Juni can one-shot them. I don't know that anybody else can one-shot them with their basic attack. I need mana badly. So no. Oh yeah, because the fires took care of it. Need a heal. Um, Aurora Neon's going to be really nice here. It won't take out a flame on its own, but it will soften everybody up and deal damage to the boss. The trick here is balancing dealing damage to the boss with taking out the flames. That's, that's really the key here. Because you could sit here and take out the flames all day, but if you don't deal damage to Pyrom, you're not making progress. That is so unfortunate for me. I'm gonna res the flames, that's okay. I might have... Might be... I might be... I might be toast here, actually. Let's see what we can do. Because I can't heal. The healer is down. Now my healer is back up. The healer can't put a bubble shield on anybody now. Uh, right. I got two of the flames down. We got two of the flames down. So it's gonna get. Oh, it didn't even absorb here. Come on, come on. The and now I'm chasing my own tail. And I gotta pick people up. Ah. This damn this attack's not gonna be so bad. Everybody's pretty no no, let me just bubble shield. Let me not stray from the plan. Just cause things went sideways early. I stick to the plan, we should be okay. Got a flame. I can't AoE. That kind of stinks, but that's okay. Got two flames out. I can live with that. I can live with taking out two flames. And then now I can't do anything about the third flame, so I just will deal damage to the boss. I need to heal. And I think we've recovered. But hopefully I'm not gonna be eating my words here in a little bit, because it might be a, I should've, I should've used my single target one and taken a flame out. This index attack's really gonna hurt. See if I can lay it as much as possible. Nope. This next attack's just gonna hurt. That being said, there's no point not going all out on the boss right now. Yeah. Alright. That was such an awkward start to the fight. Let's try that again. I might have missed a shield early while I was trying to talk anyway. Let's pay attention and, and do it right this time. Shield. There's nothing. I used bubble shield, didn't I? We just gotta not die on the first turn. That's really what's messing everything up. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just getting bad. They're just getting good damage rolls. There's really not a thing I can do about that. If they're going to get damage rolls like that. I, I can't, I can't reduce the incoming damage any more than I just did on that first turn. We didn't quite, we didn't wipe nearly as hard as we did last time though. So hopefully this will turn out a little, out a little bit better. Come on! Uh. Oh, frustrating. Anybody else I can work around, but losing the only defense I have against fire damage, that's really just not ideal here. Stop messing around with me. I want to play the game. Let me play the game. All right, take out a flame. It better. They got a second flame because I'm also about to get another turn. Yep, good thing I did. My turn is all goofed up. Oh, but it just absorbs. So there's no point taking out the flame. I just as well get some damage down. I think we'll be okay. Alright, good. Better damage rolls this time. I don't think there's anything I can do about the boss getting a full here. Nope. We just gotta take it out. Alright, good. Alright, now we're on to final fight. Huge wall of text. So again, as we start this fight, I'll, I'll start talking through what the strategy is. As a warning, though, it's going to be, I, sh I, I, I said it a little late, I'm sorry. It's going to be a lot of flashing in this final fight. A lot of flashing in this final fight. Uh, so if you are photosensitive, um, take what precautions you may need to take. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to open up by taking it. Doing some damage to this uh, orb on the left here. Baron's gonna do the same thing as last time. AOE damage. Everybody takes uh, a loses half their attack stat. Um, and then as we go through here on Baron's next turn, and he's going to use an ability I can't remember the name of. We're about to see it. Countdown to the end. While Baron is channeling, he's weak to something called null damage. Void damage, null damage. We'll see it in this. I'll check right here. He's weak to null damage, uh, which just so happens to be my stronger abilities as long as, you know, somebody's weak to it. But what I'm going to do is set up my turn order so I'm buffing all of my null damage dealers while the enemy is channeling. The thing is, I need my sixth party member and I didn't have them in the first fight. You have to lose that first fight. And now I've got a script here that I'm going to follow, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to let the boss start channeling, take out its two support units, and then once the boss starts channeling, slow down its turns as much as possible. Uh, Zeray's got an ability that's... Um, Zeray has a stun... Ab I'll talk about it when we get there. And he's attack left. Zeray's going to use two tails on herself. To change up the turn order. We're going to use Burning Ardor on green. Give Eri triple damage. Or Neon out of Dua. Should take out the left orb. Nice. Searing Crush on right orb. Supports it down. Two tails doubles all stats for a turn. Um, but Eri is double buffed right now. Baron's going to start channeling. And Viri can use Emerald Shine. A double stats, double attack. Nice big chunk of damage. Gale's gonna put Varian in a Varian cage to delay its next turn. It's gonna be channeling for as long as possible now. 
we're going to burning ardor Dua because Dua also has a null damage ability to be a nice chunk of damage but not quite as big red sun Here's the moment of truth. If this stun slash lands, I definitely win 100% of the time. It didn't land. We're 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 in limbo here, folks. Um, the electro ride because that's all I have mana for. Should we get the second turn? We're going to burning ardor. Do what again? Because she still should have enough for another energy engine to get Sarah some extra. A glimmer. Now, if the first stun misses, usually the second stun misses, but you can see how Barian goes for four um Juni. What I'm going to do is phase shield Juni. Juni's got that phasing ability that lets her avoid all damage. Syrian crush the boss. Here comes the flash. AoE everybody dies ability. And it misses Juni because Juni's phasing. Juni has a res, she has enough mana. All right, all right, energize Rhea. Oh boy, here we go. Who do I res or this? Who do I res? Um, theory, because I'm gonna need mana and damage. That's right, because I might need the stun on second. Um, better energy engine. Wood Slasher, please stun. Don't give me anything here, are you? Let's see if I can delay this turn anymore. Nope. You might be toast. That's right, it's not gonna use its ultimate here. I forgot. I forgot. It wasn't gonna use its ultimate there. I, I was panicking a little bit. Um oh shoot, I definitely did not use the right uh turn order there. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Think, think, think. Let's get some damage on the board. Port Slasher. Bleeding, that's nice. The bleeding's a damage over time effect, so if I can just survive long enough, we're definitely going to win. If I can survive long enough, don't do... That was the last turn. I had to get through that turn. That's so unfortunate. Ah, uh, I'm um, so. I should have used the bleeding ability instead of trying for the third stun. That's what I should have done. That's so unfortunate. Ah. Uh, <laughs> That, that cut me. That, that hurt so much. I need it one more turn. Because the bleed probably would have won it there. Oh, the bleed probably would have won it there. The bleed definitely would have won if it landed earlier, but the bleed doesn't always land, so... You know, if I had the foresight of knowing the RNG, of course... land of course not it never wants to land when it lands it's great when it doesn't land it's just a wasted turn but if it lands i win the game okay what am i doing here burning harder do a energy engine for a gunner I already know the stun's not gonna land. Play shield Juni. Red Sun. Everybody's about to get knocked out. Energize Rhea, so I've got 
two reses. Let's just quartz slash her from the start. See, the bleed doesn't stick. When I need it to stick, the bleed doesn't stick. Um, the Freddy Gage probably isn't gonna land here. Let's just pick somebody up. Triple damage check right there. Don't you do it. Time. Oh. And then the longest credit scene. Not, it's pretty long. Considering how short the game overall is. That's time, by the way. I don't know if I said that out loud. Ah, uh, that got me to... Oh. I, sh I just got a double court slash at the end. If the stun doesn't stick, I just have to double court slash. There's no point doing anything else. Feelings. I don't know what else to say. My feelings are hurt. That was just mean. That was just so mean. It was so needlessly cruel. And Viri get married at the end. They've been talking about their wedding the whole time, basically. Well, they get engaged at the end of chapter one, and then they, um, in the second chapter, talking about their wedding in a very cute way. I mean, it sounds like they're being annoying, they're being, you know, cute, they tell you precious about it. I didn't mean to make it sound like they're being annoying. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm mortally wounded by how that first fight ended. <laughs> 